Allah wabarakatuh. Now I will explain you about the linear combination. Linear combination where we have a factor v, and it will be called as linear combination of a factor v1, v2 up to vn if it can be expressed in the form v is k1 v1 plus k2 v2 plus up to k and vn and then uh, we have to get the k number here where the k is the scalar number and you cannot get the k is the zero so we have to avoid the zero number for the k and we will give you the exercise of the linear combination here and how to solve the problem of linear combination and how to get the key value of the linear combination if you have you can consider the factor zero when the result value of the factor zero is one two and minus one and you have the factor v six four two in uh, uh m tuple and sorry this maybe uh yeah it's mean it's not here but r three for the m tuple three and show that the w equal to nine uh, two seven is linear combination of u and v and show that w prime uh, 4 minus 1 8 is not a linear combination of u and v so we will prove the first that the w is the linear combination of u and v so we can write this one w equal to k1 v1 plus k2 v2 so we can input the value of w 9 2 7 uh, bracket and it will be the k1 the value of u oh, okay we can we can we can change here it's not we can we not use the u or v or we can say that's the k1 u plus k2 v so it's depend on the variable is the, the, the name of the variable is not a is not a is not a matter uh, as long as we can understand that it is the the, the factor unit of each factors so here we can input the one two minus one plus k2 uh, six four two and the close bracket and you can operate this one by using a variable nine two seven and then k1 plus six k2 close bracket and then 2k1 plus 4k2 and then minus k1 plus 2k2 and we can make the it's like a system of linear equation and we can get this one k1 plus 6k2 equal to 9 and 2k2 4 plus 4k2 it will be 2 and minus k1 plus 2 k2 it will be 7 so this will be river to x uh, is the y and this one is the third one is z z video so after we have this this a system of linear equation of course we can do what we have done in a system of linear equation and we can use the elimination but we can use the simple elimination here and then we'll, we will after we do this elimination we will get a k1 uh, is 3 and the k2 is 2 is the result of k1 and k2 so the system is this system is system is linear equation uh, I'm sorry, linear combination I mean, because we have the real value of the k1 and k2, or we can write this minus 3u plus 2v. Okay, it's the other notation how to write this one, and then next to prove the w prime. The w prime equal to k1 v1 plus k2 v2 the value of w prime is 4 minus 1 and 8 with the k1 is 2 and 
2 is same 1, 2, minus 1, plus k2, 6, 4, and 2. Okay, you can write it, k4, minus 1, and 8, and then it's 1, k1, plus 6, k2, and so on 2 k1 plus 4 k2 and minus k1 plus 2 k2 or you can move to be the system of linear equation as previous you can write k1 plus 6 k1 it will be referred to this result so we can write this 4 and 2 k1 sorry plus for k2 it is uh, minus 1 and then last one is minus k1 plus 2 k2 uh, is 8 so by using the elimination of system of linear equation we can uh, we cannot get any value of this equation so this means that the if we get the, the some number for this one, it will be moved. So it means that the, this system of equation is inconsistent. So W prime is not a linear combination. So it's not a linear combination because after we calculate this one, it, we will we won't get that uh, the real value like previous w, and then after that we will move to the next uh, topic that is uh, linear independence. Linear independence it has the definition that if s where as is containing the v1, v2 up to vn is a non-empty set of factors then the factors equation where it is k1, v1 plus k2, v2 plus up to k and vn equal to 0 has at least one solution namely k1, 0, k2, 0 and k and 0 if this is the only solution then it is called a linearly independent set if there are other solutions then S is called a linearly dependent set. So the key, uh, key here, we have to see the value number of K, where the K refers to the scalar number. If we get the K of the scalar number here, get, if we get a zero, so it means it will be linearly in the independent. But if we get the, uh, the other numbers, it's just one, two, or other number, it will be a uh, linearly dependent then we will move to the exercise let the factor space has the factor minus 2 3 and 6 comma 9 so the span of factor space v added the linearly independence or dependence then do the geometry plane so in this uh, chapter we will try to draw the geometry plane of the factor space v and show that the linear dependence on our independence okay we will prove this one first okay so, right this one too so we will go for the first one and then if you have the u1 we can notate it as a u1 and it is the u2 so we will do the u1 is minus 2 comma 3 and u2 is uh, 6 comma 9 Okay, six comma nine. Oh, and sorry, this one is uh, minus six comma one. I'm sorry, I did a mistake for the. Uh, I said it does. And then for this one, you will get is k one v one plus k two v two. It will be equal to zero. Where we can write the k one. Input this to the equation minus 2 comma 3 plus k 2 minus 6 comma 9 and then equal to 0 so we will get the equation like this one 2 
minus 2 k1 plus 6 k2 so it will be equal to 0 then 3 k1 plus uh, 9 k2 will be 0 sorry it is a mistake that it has to be the minus okay and then the next process is to make if it is possible so we can use it the elimination method but I thought that it is impossible to use the elimination because if we eliminate this one so we will get the zero number if you want to get any number here it will be zero so the first the best one I think it to make it a sim to be the simpler uh, linear equation or uh, you can write this one 2k1 minus 6k1 equal to 0 or you can write this one such as k1 plus 3k2 equal to 0 so we will get the value of k1 it is because it's minus and move to the right it will be 3k1 okay 3k2 if we take any number for k2 so if uh, we take the k1 is a uh, k2 I mean is 1 so we will get the k1 is 3 so what it means that it means this value uh, this uh, factor space it is uh, depend uh, linearly dependent so this value is a linearly dependent So how we can now linear dependent? You can see the result of the k, which is not is not zero. So we can um, move this one uh, back, substitute this one to the basic form of the equation. We can write the three because we can we we get the k one three. So it's minus two comma three plus minus 6 comma 9 so it will be 0 comma 0 so you can write this one 3 u1 plus u2 it will be 0 or in the simple you can write this 3 minus 3 u1 so u2 equal to minus 3 u1 and then for the second one how we can write the geometric plane for this one so because we have the number value of u2 is uh, u1 and u2 here is a minus 2 comma 3 and you get this one that u2 is u1 u2 is a minus 3 u1 so if you have any plan yeah it's only for the sample so it's not a specific uh, for the rule, it's, it's, it's different with, with, by using the rule because it's not specific. So we can write here it's a minus 2 and it is 3. So if you have the this is the point of u1 and u2 is minus 3, it means that if have, it is u1, 3 times u1, but because we have the minus, so it is the upper side of u1, so it's been 1. 2 3 okay so we will have the u2 here right the position of the u2 it will be 9 to minus 6 so that's all for the linear combination and linear independence i hope this video can help you to understand more about this topic and thank you